You know, as Lubbock grows, so does the need for more basic infrastructure like electric power lines. The problem is that LPNLs had a hard time finding linemen to work on those lines. And KMAX Claudia Puente rode along with some of those hardworking folks today to see just what it takes to get that job done. I'm about 70 feet high in a bucket truck. This is about the average height as linemen in Lubbock go. And LPNL tells me that this is one of their most dangerous jobs they have out here. These men have to have multiple certifications, including CPR. It's getting harder and harder to find good qualified people. It takes years of experience before these men even get to step in the bucket. Most people want to hand it to them. This ain't a job you can have it handed to you. And they tell me, it takes a special kind of dedication to stay in this field. I, I love it. I, I love the challenge. I, uh, I take every challenge with a grain of salt, really. It takes about anywhere from four to five years to accomplish the title of journeyman. They have a, they need to get about 2,000 hours a year. With their life on the electrical line, one touch to an energized line could instantly kill them. I mean, there's open wire secondary everywhere, so the foreman and the lead journeyman are watching out, making sure that I don't start a fire or making sure that I'm working safe, you know. But they say it's all rewarding in the end. You're going to make lifetime friendships that are as tight as any marriage. These guys rely on each other every day. They work with each other 24 hours a day at times. So rewarding to see somebody just succeed or to have a neighborhood out of power that's been out of power for 12, 15 hours. And when the lights come on, there's no greater feeling or greater reward in this world. And LPNL wants to remind you, if you see these men working out in the field to keep a safe distance as any line could be energized. At the Indiana Training Facility, Claudia Puente, KMAC News.